Hey guys, now I'm gonna show you how to get a full working Android virtual machine. It's based on Jenny Motion. So you have to go on jennymotion.com and you have to sign up there for free. After the registration, um, you have to log in there with your credentials and download the Genymotion installer which includes the Oracle Virtual Box. So the installation um, of Genymotion is very simple. Um, you have to restart Windows after the installation. So now you have these three uh, icons on your desktop and please start Genymotion. So now we want to add a new virtual machine um yes here you have to enter your Jenny motion credentials and then you see all virtual machines in the Jenny motion cloud so now I will select the last one this Android 4.2.2 with the Google Apps also this VM includes the Play Store and so on you can use the other uh, virtual machines too. So uh, I downloaded the files before. Uh, on your computer it might take some minutes. The size is um, 200 megabytes. So at the end you have to enter a name for the virtual machine. I will call it YouTube. So. Now the device is created successfully and now you are able to change some settings before the virtual machine starts um, like the resolution or full screen mode and so on and the developers are able to connect the Android debug bridge to the virtual machine. So let's start the virtual machine. So now it makes some settings. And now you can see the Android starting screen. Now you have to select the language and enter the credentials of your Google account so my top secret credentials And now the setup is complete. So, yeah, you can see a full working Android virtual machine. And now, uh, let's go to the Play Store and yeah, let's install the Facebook app. you see it's working so now I will shut down the VM to show you some more settings um, close the Jenny motion console and open the Oracle virtual box So here you see your virtual machine and you are able to change some more settings um, like the memory and the 
memory of the graphics adapter and in the storage options you can see the size of the Android partitions so that's it mm, let's start the machine again So that was my short tutorial, enjoy this great program and have fun, see you next time.